Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Marisol and uh, today we're going to talk about my COVID vaccine uh, when I was pregnant. So uh, right now, I already have my baby and he's uh, about to be four weeks old. And <clears throat> so uh, just to give you an highlights regarding my pregnancy, it was a tough pregnancy. So at the beginning of it, first trimester, I've been having some spotting. Uh, so my doctor took me off work and I just rested. And um, from then, I keep on having some spotting um, until like second trimester. Um, so much issue during my pregnancy. I had some uh, gestational diabetes as well, which is gone as of right now. And I had some... Um, hypermesis which is uh you're always vomiting you're always nauseated not vomiting but nauseated most of the time um and um been having some issue with my sciatica which i had before in my first pregnancy so sciatica is the painful stimuli that cause in your uh, side of the hip and goes all the way down to your um um little toe so there's a point that you cannot really walk when you have that sciatica um ongoing on that day and it's really you feeling messed up <laughs> when you have that all right so uh, so many issues especially when it comes to this potting uh, so i had to do some stress tests um towards the end of the pregnancy so to begin with my doctor advised me to get the covid vaccine but i'm not comfortable i am a nurse i work in the hospital for more than 10 years as an icu nurse and i've seen a lot of uh, sick patients from covid but uh since the covid is not um studied well yet because it's new thing uh i myself it's not really comfortable in getting it especially I have um baby in my womb and I'd like to uh make the baby more comfortable and more attached to me first before I would get it but I have a plan to get it later on uh at that time at the beginning of the pregnancy um all right so so to make the story short at 34 weeks I felt like because uh, it's it's about time I'm on my third trimester and it's about time for me to get the vaccine I felt like the baby's more uh, attached on my womb and um, very strong uh, very strong baby so I I did my uh, juice to get my uh, prenatal medicine on time and some other medicine for my thyroid and other stuff as well for anemia uh, stuff like that so uh i did my due diligence um so i took the vaccine at 34 weeks in which i'm going to uh put the video on the link so this is my video at 34 weeks and i got my first dose of covid vaccine Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. It was only for one dollar. You mind if I take a video? <laughs> Thank 
Thank you. You're welcome. It's surprising, right? Yeah, it's surprising. Actually, maybe you're gonna wait uh, 15 minutes. So after seeing the video, that was my first uh, dose of COVID vaccine. It's Pfizer, and uh, I really didn't feel much um, when they um, injected to me. Um, and the first, I would say, the first four hours, it's okay. It's just feeling a little heavy at that time and then after six hours it kind of um kind of feel like bothersome so i took a tylenol and uh, i think that's a 500 or 600 milligram of tylenol so i took that took a rest because it's already night time i had my vaccine about 11 in the morning so about um, five or five or six p.m. I felt that heaviness on my arm, so I took it first on my left arm. It was a little sore that night, so but the Tylenol definitely helps. So and Tylenol is safe for pregnant women. So the next morning after um, I would say after twenty four hours past at 11 in the morning uh it feels very tender and a lot more sore i can barely uh, move my arm it's not just because i cannot move it it's just very sore at that time but i took another tylenol it's safe to take tylenol for uh I think 2,000 milligram in 24 hours, if I'm not mistaken. But don't, I would advise don't take too much though. If it's tolerable, just not take the medication. And that's just my per perspective as a nurse, because I'm not really into medication as well, unless I really need it. So, so uh, 24 hours had passed, it was fine sore here and there but it was okay i don't have any fever or any other flu-like symptoms something like that that the other people had before so after two days it was fine by the way for all the pregnant women you can register um who got the covid vaccine to get some to participate i think to participate in a study uh, regarding pregnant and got the COVID vaccine, something like that. And then they would check on you daily on your phone, download that app, or they would text you daily to uh, monitor how you're doing, if you have fever, or any soreness or anything, any uh, unnecessary uh, sign and symptoms during pregnancy and during after uh, taking the COVID vaccine. So it's pretty good, just helpful. Uh, in in the census later on so uh, after two days I was fine um, really soreness is mostly gone and the next day I'm completely okay so I waited like three weeks to get another uh, shot for the second dose of Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine and here is the video Okay, am I doing your left or your right arm? Right arm? Okay, perfect. And then you'll just need to sit here. I'll have you turn side this way. Oh, you'll just need to sit here for 15 minutes. Uh -huh. uh, and then we'll give you your card. And this is your first dose, correct? Second. Second dose. Okay, did you give her your card? Yes. Okay, perfect. Spicy. Yes. Relax your arm as much as you can. Like, there you go, okay. <laughs> All right. And for some reason, you start to feel lightheaded, we want you to lay down, okay? Um, the With the second dose, sometimes you might have 12 hours, 16 hours later, uh, sometimes chills, fever, headache. So sometimes it's a little stronger of a reaction than the first time. Mm -hmm. And then just move your arm a lot today. Uh, and do you want any water while you're waiting? Uh, you're okay? Okay, all right. 15 minutes. 
So yeah, so we have the timer going and then I'll leave the door open and then we'll give your paperwork after the 15 minutes is up. Maybe I'll take the water. You want a water? Okay, no problem. Thank you. There you go, you're welcome. I have to wait 15 minutes. So if I have any side effects, they would know. And yeah. Here. That was my uh, second uh, shot of Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine and uh, of course I asked for permission if I can take it uh, for the first and second uh, vaccine and so um, so after the second vaccine I was really worried because that's uh, most of the time where uh, people get really sick after their, se their second dose. But luckily, I wasn't that sick. Actually, I'm not sick at all um, after the second dose. So I did the same thing as first dose. Um, it was uh, after six hours, I took Tylenol. It's sore, tender, but no fever. Not anything like that, no grumpiness. Um, my arm is heavy. I took it on the right arm, actually. And it was just a regular heaviness and heaviness, soreness, tender, just like that. Nothing else. Uh, after six hours, after 24 hours, I was more sore. Then after two days, it was fine, like a normal day. So until now, um, so I took my first shot on June, uh, June 17, 2021, and I was 34 weeks pregnant at that time. So I deliver on uh, July 20, 2021 on my baby and he looks fine and healthy baby boy. I'm only after uh, on the antibodies that my son would get through me um that's why i got the vaccination of course i want to be uh safe as well because uh, this uh pandemic is really bothersome for everybody and it's really scary so i hope everyone gets their vaccine and i would really uh advise to get it when you're pregnant and you don't have any symptoms when your pregnancy is really uh hard just like just like me so i would say wait a little bit until you're sure the baby is fully um fully holding and in your womb before you get it and that's all and i'm happy i got the vaccine and hopefully my toddler would get it too if there's any available one but i'm really glad some of the antibodies most likely uh, pass it through my baby and of course if we're still doing the precaution wearing masks when we're outside and not to go outside too much uh, to take care of our um, social skills we just uh, basically do some uh, um, virtual most of the time um, I had my family come over and uh, take care of the baby uh, they they have vaccine as well but of course we're still taking some precaution not to have too much people in the house and not too much uh, exposure to the kids to us so we are limiting the time going out here and there for us uh, as a family thank you for watching and hopefully it helps you as well on uh, deciding whether to not or get uh whether to not get your covid vaccine um soon or now or later so god bless you and take care everyone thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit like uh, comment and subscribe to my channel you guys take care during this pandemic and have a good one